So today I thought we could talk about our decollete. I don't like that word. Let's talk about our chest skin today. How's that? Um, I was thinking about the skin on my chest and that's something I never talk about on my channel. Um, I did try something when I first started my YouTube channel. I purchased, I was watching another YouTube channel and they were talking about those silicone chest pads that you can put on your chest and what it does is stretches out the skin while you sleep and keeps it nice and flat and it prevents wrinkles from getting more etched in and things like that while you're sleeping and so I went ahead and purchased them and I gave them a try and they did not work for me it made my skin itchy and I got a little rash on my chest and it was from the moisture that would get trapped underneath the silicone pad. Um, one night, once in a while, I could do it, but that's not how you're supposed to use those. You're supposed to use those night after night after night. And so those were a complete fail for me. I've tried other brands and they did not work for me. So no silicone pads on my skin. It just does not work out for me. So then what is a girl to do to prevent wrinkles on her decollete or chest skin. So I'm just going to share with you a few things that I do and that I've done pretty regularly, but I wanted to start by saying that I always neglected my chest skin. I take care of my face skin like most of us do, and I even work those serums down onto my neck so I can include my neck with my face for the most part. But when it comes to this part down, um, it's pretty neglected. So I do have a few things I've been doing for about maybe six or seven years that I think have made a big difference. I don't have any wrinkles. When I look very closely in a magnifying mirror, I can see a little something starting here. And I'm really treating this area um, I'm taking it very seriously. I don't know if there's a lot I can do there though because that's nearly the area that's right between my breasts and um, you know, I, I just think time takes its toll. But this area right here, I wanna keep is wrinkle-free and smooth and I wanna make it look luminous and attractive. So what I like to do is use a product and this is not a clean product, it's a product that I've used again and again and again for years and it's by Glytone and this is supposed to be for your face and I'm going to put my glasses on and tell you a little more about this. It comes in a jar. I do think they've changed their packaging and it's the 15% glycolic acid liposomal vitamins A, C, E, and CoQ10 and it looks like this and this jar is about $50 so it is not an inexpensive product but it lasts a year so if $50 over a year's time I can justify that um you can see I am almost out and what I do is once or twice a week after I get out of the shower I'll just take a scoop of this and just rub it all over my chest area and then I'll go up onto my neck too and you, this comes in a 10% a 15% or a 20% when I first purchased it the very first time I purchased it for my face and it was very harsh for my face and I, I purchased the 10 so I stopped using it on my face and started using it only on my chest and I did notice that my chest skin was looking a lot better the texture was a lot better and some of the dark spots I have from sun damage had lightened up so when I repurchased it I went up to the 15 percent and I can use the 15 percent once or twice a week without irritation if I use it more than that I do get irritation my, my chest will get very red and very itchy and uncomfortable and that's not going to look good so I don't I don't go up that high with it um, but you could if you have tougher skin on your chest and um, I just use it a couple times a week once a week for sure and this has made a big difference in my chest skin. And just while I'm on the topic of Glytone, another product I really like to use is their exfoliating body lotion. And this is a 17.5 free acid value. I don't use this directly on my skin. I put this with another moisturizer. I like to use it with my Alba Botanicals Very Emollient Moisturizing Cream in Unscented. And I put a big dollop of that and a little dollop of this mix them together and just apply it all over my body skin. The Alba Botanicals 
very emollient, um, unscented one, has lactic acid in it. So it also has another type of acid in it and it gives my body a really good exfoliation. And since I tend to neglect my body skin, period, I, um, I like to do that. Um, probably once a week, at least once every 10 days. So it's, I, that's a little off topic, but I just wanted to make sure I shared that with you because you might be looking for something to moisturize and exfoliate your body skin. With my exfoliants on my chest, this one or this one, I um, only use them in the winter time because, and that seems counterintuitive because the air is drier in the winter time and my skin is drier in the winter time, but in the summer months, I self tan. And if I use them when I'm self tanning, it will remove my tan. It'll make it kind of just kind of flake off because you are exfoliating your skin. A bit. If you have a tan or a self, a, I hate to say fake tan, a faux tan, then um, you, you probably won't enjoy these in the summer months, but I do use them in the fall, spring, and summer when I don't self tan. So those are a couple things I really like to do and I have been incorporating into my routine for years and I think it's made a big difference in my chest skin. So what I had been using on my skin is the Roque Deep Wrinkle Cream and Serum on my chest because it has retinol in it and I really liked it a lot, but I wanted to find some cleaner products. And over the years, I've really always loved the Derma E brand. It's clean, it's cruelty free, it's vegan, it's full of really great ingredients and it has a very high concentration of retinol in the, in the cream. Um, there's two types of packaging. I'll put a picture of the other packaging. And when you order it from Derma E, they've been in the process of changing their packaging. So you might get this packaging or you might get a different packaging. And it'll say that, that the packaging might vary for the time being. And I've had this for about a year now. And it's the Anti-Wrinkle Vitamin A Retinol Palmitate Cream. And I use this every single day and night on my chest. I take a shower, I put on the Glytone on my chest, and then I take a little bit of this and I rub this over the Glytone and it's the Retinol Palmitate Cream and it really moisturizes and I like that I'm getting some retinol on my chest skin. And then in the morning when I wash my face, I take the rag and I wash my neck and I wash my chest just to get the nighttime skincare off and then I reapply this to my chest. And um, that's another thing I do and I really like this. I think it makes a huge difference. The skin now on my chest seems as bright bright to me is the skin on my face. And the strange thing is, is I'm not using any brightening products on my chest. I'm kind of funny about my chest because I don't like to use things on my chest that come in smaller sizes like these. Whenever I use something on my chest or my body, I want a bigger tub because you just go through more of it. Um, so I did go ahead and order just recently, you know, I've been into peptides on my skin and I did a recent video. I'll link it below on peptides for your face skin and I've been using the age defying line from Angelou Naturals the Goji peptide I really love it I love it on my skin it doesn't make me break out it wears well it's just been going really well but I don't want to use up this little jar on my chest skin so I did order from Derma E a large tub like this ordered their advanced collagen and peptide serum and cream and that's going to be coming. I've used both of those products before on my face and I really feel like maybe I should start using the serum on my skin on my face too because it's got the collagen and peptide so I think I might add that with this and just see how that goes. I've just been reading so much about peptides and how good they are for us and I'll do an update when I add the peptide serum and coll the collagen and peptide serum and cream onto my skin as well. Um, but I really feel like now that I'm 50, I need to up my game on my chest skin. You know, I'm, it seems, well, it's definitely true. The older you get, the faster you age. And so I feel like I need to really boost the things I do to prevent the aging process from taking over and going faster than I can keep up. A couple of other things that I do that kind of go without saying is I try to sleep on my back. I'm not always a back sleeper. That's not my preferred way to sleep, but I do the best I can to start out that way. And if I stay on my back, good. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up on my back and I'm happy about that. Um, but I don't know that I had been there all night long, but it just makes me happy. I think, oh good, okay, I stayed on my back tonight. 
Um, the other things I do is I wear a sunblock on my chest skin every single day and on my neck skin and obviously on my face skin. What I like for my chest and my neck is by Maki Piram and it's the UV Defense Me Blu-ray Sunscreen SPF of 50 and it looks like this. I purchased this the summer before last, not this exact one, but I started using this one. I really like this a lot. Um, it's a um, Korean sunblock and they supposedly block out more rays than our traditional sunblocks that we can get here in the United States. So like uh, some other rays. So I think it's a good thing. So I use this and I think that really in the big picture, a retinol and sunblock will be doing you a big favor in your anti-aging regimen for what, any part of your body. So I just thought I would make this video because I've never really talked about my chest skin before and um, you might be interested. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any questions or comments below. Let me know what you do to take care of the skin on your neck and chest and I will see you on my next video. Have a very happy and blessed day. See you next time.